Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning into the Margot Lab channel. My name is Andrew, and I thought it'd be nice to go over some climate science that's recently been in the news in case you missed it or only read the headline, and also to provide my opinion on it. But before I get into that, if you enjoy this channel, make sure you support its growth by subscribing. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. All right, so the article that I'll cover in this video came out about a month ago on March 2nd in the New York Times, and it is called, In the Atlantic Ocean, Subtle Shifts Hint at Dramatic Dangers. To start, headlines are often overly dramatic, and this one's a perfect example of that. Not only does the headline include the word dramatic, it also suggests that there are dangers that some scientists fear related to warming of the atmosphere that in turn weakens the Gulf Stream, which is an important ocean current in moderating climate. First of all, there is nothing for you to fear, so don't worry. This is referring to dramatic changes on a climate time scale, whereas you're probably thinking about dramatic changes on a human time scale. For example, we experienced a lot of dramatic changes on a human time scale in 2020, or in other words, we experienced dramatic changes within the course of a year. The climate system, on the other hand, can be thought of as stable on the time scale of a year, in that any dramatic changes would likely occur over the course of many years, if not decades or centuries, such as changes occurring since the Industrial Revolution, which we refer to as climate change. That's why it's so important for scientists to be monitoring subtle changes in the Atlantic Ocean and the overlying atmosphere, which is what this article covers. The article goes over the importance of the Gulf Stream in delivering heat and salt to the far North Atlantic Ocean, which you can see extending from the Gulf of Mexico all the way out to the middle of the North Atlantic. Based on recent measurements, it appears that the Gulf Stream is slowing down limiting the delivery of warm, salty water to the far North Atlantic. Additionally, meltwater from the Greenland ice sheet is apparent to the south of Greenland, where unusually cold water has been found, referred to as the cold blob, which also has low salinity since it originates from freshwater, or ice. While this water is cold, its low salinity makes it less dense than the water that is typically delivered by the Gulf Stream, which can in turn slow the formation of North Atlantic deep water that drives the Great Ocean Conveyor, which we learned about in the video on salinity and density. Deep water formation in the far North Atlantic and the resulting ocean conveyor are referred to as Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, which happens to be an important moderator of Earth's climate, so any subtle changes to it may indeed have dramatic effects on global climate. Consequences of the Gulf Stream slowing down may include faster sea level rise, stronger hurricanes, and variations in precipitation patterns, such as reduced rainfall over already arid regions. Faster sea level rise may result from warm water residing along the east coast of the U.S. for longer, and because warm water takes up more volume than cold water, which we learned about in this video on temperature and density. Following these points, most of the article focuses on the opinions of different scientists, which range from being concerned to not yet convinced. The takeaway is essentially that we really can't know for certain if the subtle changes that have been measured represent long-term trends, such as what we would expect with climate change, or if they represent short-term variability, such as like changes in the weather. The only way for us to know for certain is to continue measuring the ocean and its currents over the coming decades and hope that there aren't dramatic changes in the meantime. But ideally, we will take steps to limit our emissions sooner rather than later, so no dramatic changes will ever be detected if we prevent them from happening in the first place. Let me know if you enjoyed this, and if you'd like to see me go over any other climate-related news articles, feel free to post them in the comments below. Have a great week.